Welcome to today's nickel clip tutorial. Today's topic is how to embed that Bitmoji Classroom into your Canvas course. I'm your host Wendy Vasquez with QUEZ Instruction. So I've gone into my Google Bitmoji Classroom. If you haven't seen part one on how this was created, go back into the playlist and find part one creating a Bitmoji Classroom. What I want to do is I want to get the embed code for this slide and put that into my Canvas page. So what I'm going to do is hit File and Publish to the Web. Now here you'll notice it says Link and Embed. So I've gone ahead and go, go to Embed and I'm going to hit Publish. OK. That's going to give me the embed code down here. I'm going to right click copy and now I have it ready to go. So I'm going to go to my Canvas course. So this is my Bitmoji homepage. I've already made it my front page. There are other videos where I've shown how to do uh, pages and assignments and discussions. So what I want to do is hit edit on this page and I'm in my rich content editor right now. I need to go into my HTML editor. Now, because I'm in the new rich e content editor, my HTML editor is here. If in your, if it's not here, look down here and you'll see uh, two little carrots, little parentheses. You click that and everything kind of changes, right? Now, all I have to do is right click and paste. And here's where my iframe goes in. If I just hit save, you'll notice, there it is, I've got my Google slide and all of my links are working. So if I click on stress free, as I talked about in the last video, it takes me to a mindfulness meditation for kids YouTube link that I uh, found and linked to that. So all of these are linked now to my math courses, my reading courses, my science courses, my storyline online. Now the one thing I don't like is that it's got this um, toolbar down here at the bottom. So I'm going to show you how to get rid of that toolbar. Now this is going to be just about the only type of coding you're going to actually have to do, um, but it's fairly simple. I just went back into edit, went back into my HTML editor, content editor, and I'm looking for the number 3000. Here it is. So there's a 3000 and a little uh, quotation mark. I'm going between that. I'm going to type in the ampersand for and. I'm going to type R M, R like Roger, M like Mary, equals minimal. That's it. When I do that, I hit save. Now my width is at 960 and 629. Sometimes I have to adjust that depending on how it looks on your screen. Um, I can go with 900 and 500, but you can uh, play with those numbers. It's not gonna do anything. So, and there you go. My toolbar is gone, but I unfortunately have these black bars. I'm gonna have to play with those numbers until I can get those black bars to go away. However, it's not too bad. I do like it and I can click on all of the links again to get me to um, the other places, places that I want the children to be able to reach, including their, um, their math assignments. So that's pretty cool. And this was another nickel clip by Wendy Vasquez and QUEZ Instruction. I hope you enjoyed this and take a look at my other playlists. Subscribe below and I'll be bringing out other videos uh, just about every day.